Right, and just for now, what I'm going to be doing is going to get some black, put a bit of black out. Again, I'm still always mixing this with the lavender, slightly. I just want it to be quite a bit darker. See the, the hillside there? I just want to get a bit of black with the lavender. And just come in there and create a few little details here and there. But you can see they're a bit darker because this all seems a bit too light underneath the castle and the castle darker so to get that contrast right it's going to apply a bit of dark same, I think same under there just under that area now I'm going to use this black while it's on the brush and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to darken this little wave these want to be quite dark in here. Fluff it up on tops. Fluffy, crashy, smashing waves. Visualise it in your mind as you're actually painting. And then as it goes away from you, it'll get lighter. So you put it on first and then allow it to mix with the base coat. There. Sometimes little crashy ones behind you can see and then once it go forward these are like shadows if you like for the wave the wave rolling over creates a little tiny shadow just push up on top of that and make it look again like a crashing wave just crashing over there so much fun there Love it. I do love painting seascapes. One of my favourite things to do. Just a shame I don't live near a coast, otherwise I'd have much more inspiration for this type of thing. If you live near a coast, it's there and it's there for you to copy. spots in there. Now I want this part of the wave here where it crashes over to be black in certain spots really dark shadow. So I'm just going to scrub some of that black in there and then what you notice I put the black on first and then just use the corner of the brush to just move the paint about again straight into black it's just straight black now because we've got the colour underneath it'll just mix with that. There. Nice. That, that looks so much closer. Don't go right to the top, leave some areas so that it looks like the uh, the light lighting there shows all behind the darker stuff that's in front. Pull a few little darker waves just coming away from it. Pick out a few that you want to be a bit darker in the background while you've got that colour on your brush. Uh, there's a couple that I want to be darkened just down here. So pull them little ripples through. Well, 
there. Just check on the turn. About halfway there. Right, now I know that I'm going to have some rocks in there, so I'll leave them till last. I'm just going to actually have to stop the thingy and go wash my brushes. See you in a short while. Though. 